Hello, welcome to Scratchy Sunday. In this Sunday, we are going to do another Scratch Junior game. This time, we are building a game with a wizard and a lizard. The game plot is: we can move our wizard with the yellow arrows. He can move up or down. Then he can shoot out some magic power, a star, to hit our lizard. And this game, we will have an end screen. Like this, the lizard will say, "You win." Okay, now let's preview the game. You see, we can move our wizard down. When the magic power, the star is out, the wizard will turn into a bat, and the lizard is always jumping. This game is more complicated than the last one. Are you up to this challenge? We will split the making of this game into three parts. This video is part one. First, let's get rid of tape. If you have any problem to install Scratch Junior on your PC, please refer to my other videos. Now let's search for our wizard, our main character. In fact, if you are interested, you can make a character with your face on it. You can see how to do that in the description box. I will leave a link there. Okay, here he is. Now he is at the center of our stage. Let's make him smaller. Now he is too big. Do you remember how to do that? Yes, with the purple block. Let's shrink him. All right. A bit more smaller. Okay, I think he is small enough. Next step, we should choose a background. A background fit our theme, our wizard theme. A huge moon, and a dark forest. Ooh, we are going to make him move up and down like this. In order to do this, we will need some arrows so the player can control him. I draw this arrow in the paint editor. If you are not sure how to do this. You can refer to my video on character creation. All right, we need two arrows. Okay, now I will need to rotate it. To rotate a character, we will need the blue motion block. All right, do not need this block anymore. A side note: if you want to remove any character on the stage. You just need to hold on it. Then you will see a red cross button on it. Just click on that button, and the character will be removed. Okay, let's give this file a name. Click on the yellow button, and then give it a name. I will say, "How about magic?" Okay. Let's program the up arrow first. Select the character. Let's choose the start on tab. Triggering block, and then by tapping on that, we want the wizard to move up, and then the end block. Wait, woo woo woo! We want our wizard to move up, not the arrow. So what should we do? Yeah, we should send out a message. We do not want the arrow to move. We want the wizard to move. We should compose the same script. For the down arrow, with a different color message. This time, we choose red message. Now we focus on the wizard. He is the one who receives the messages, right? One orange and one red. Upon receiving the message, he should move up or down. So when the player hit on the up arrow, it sends out an orange message. When the wizard receives the orange message, 
he moves up one step. For the red message, he will move in the opposite direction. OK, don't forget to add an AND block to each script. As always, we should test our scripts. Full screen mode. Let's tap on the down arrow and the wizard moves down. How about the up arrow? Yeah, he moves up. Everything works as expected. Let's exit the full screen mode. Now it's time we move on to make the magic power, the star. The bullet to hit the lizard. OK, we choose the character. We have two stars here. OK, I choose this one. Let's move the star to the tip of the magic wand. This is where we want to fire our star power, our star bullet. Right? When the players start to play our game, we do not want he or she to see our star. So, we hide our star at first. And then we also want our star to move up and down with the wizard. We copy the wizard script into the star. Our plan is, when the player tap on the wizard, the wizard will fire the star bullet, the magic power. So we drag out the star on tap. Then the wizard should send a message to the star, the character star, a yellow message. Now we switch back to the star character. When it receives the yellow message, change the color to yellow. It should show itself. For now, it is just this simple. Let's test it. Go to full screen mode. Tap on the green flag to start. Now, the wizard moves down. When we tap on the wizard, the star shows. Just this simple. You see, I replaced the down arrow with a real down arrow. A arrow which really points downward. I think this makes it easier. So I have two arrow characters. Do not need to rotate anything. And the script is the same. Alright, we continue to discuss the scripts of the star. Switch back to our star. We do not just want the star to show itself. We also need the star to travel across the stage. We change the number to 10. Let's test it. OK. Downward, tap on the wizard and the star moves. Not far enough. One more thing. You see, when the wizard is firing the star, if we tap on the upper arrow, the star moves up too. Exit full screen mode. Do you remember in one of our previous video? We have talked about we can use the grid to measure our distance. But in this video, I have not used the grid. So now I have to increase the number by guess. You can always use the grid to help you. OK, let's test again. Tab. The star flies out. It's about right. In the next video, we will go on to make the script for the lizard. If you enjoy making these games with me, please like this video and subscribe to our channel. I'm Mason from Monimation. Your support means a lot to me. We, me and Moni, make videos on Scratch Junior, Scratch, Touch Pain, and web development related topics. If you want to explore more, Please join the family.